In this video, we're going to look at another example on how to solve nonlinear simultaneous equations. Our first equation, x plus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 13, is an equation of a circle. Our second equation, x plus 5y minus 4 is equal to 0, is the equation of a straight line. For this example, we're going to be solving it using the substitution method. So from the second equation, we're going to rearrange it to make x the subject. We simply subtract 5y and add 4 to both sides, and this is going to give us x is equal to 4 minus 5y. Next, we're going to call the equations equation 1 and equation 2, and we're going to substitute equation 2 into equation 1. This means that we want to replace the variable x from equation 1 with the expression 4 minus 5y from equation 2. This will give us 4 minus 5y plus 3 or squared plus y minus 4 or squared is equal to 13. So with the substitution method, it allowed us to eliminate one variable, in this case x, so that we're able to create another equation with one variable only, in this case y, which we're able to solve. And to solve this, we're first going to simplify the first bracket, 4 minus 5y plus 3. This becomes 7 minus 5y, all squared. The plus y minus 4 squared stays the same. The equal to 13 stays the same as well. Then we're going to expand each of these brackets using binomial expansion. The expansion of 7 minus 5y all squared is 25y squared minus 70y plus 49. Then we're going to add on the expansion of y minus 4 squared, which is y squared minus 8y plus 16, and all of this is still equal to 13. Then we're going to simplify the equation first by collecting like terms. So 25y squared plus y squared gives us 26y squared minus 70y minus 8y gives us minus 78y. 49 plus 16, and we're going to also subtract 13 from both the left and the right hand side so that our right hand side becomes zero and the left hand side we get plus 52. All of this is equal to zero. And since 26 is a common factor for all the terms, we can simplify the equation further by dividing every single term by 26. And this is going to give us a simplified quadratic equation, y squared minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. Then to solve, we're going to be solving y squared minus 3y plus 2 is equal to 0. We can solve this using the factorization method. So we want to look for two numbers that multiplies to give 2 and adds to give negative 3. The two numbers would be negative 2 and negative 1, since negative 2 times negative 1 gives us a positive 2, and negative 2 plus negative 1 gives us a negative 3. So this factorizes to y minus 2 times y minus 1 is equal to 0. And when we solve this, we either get y is equal to 2, or y is equal to 1, since any of these values of y when substituted into this equation will give us 0. Now that we've got the values of y, we also need to find the corresponding value of x. So we're going to start with when y is equal to 2, we're going to sub this value of y into this equation. So we have x is equal to 4 minus 5y. We replace the y with the 2. So we get 4 minus 5 times 2. And this is equal to 4 minus 10 or negative 6. So this means that when x is equal to negative 6, y is equal to 2. That's our first set of solution. We also need to look at the case when y is equal to 1. So when y is equal to 1, we're going to do the same. We're going to substitute this value of y into this equation as well. So we've got x is equal to 4 minus 5y. We replace the y with 1 so that we have 4 minus 5 times 1, which is 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. So our other solution is x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 1.
Now let's try to make sense of our solutions. Our first equation, x plus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared is equal to 13, is the equation of a circle. And the second equation, x plus 5y minus 4 is equal to 0, is the equation of a straight line. The solutions are essentially the points of intersection of the line and the circle. So our first solution, x is equal to minus 6 and y is equal to 2, corresponds to this point of intersection with coordinate minus 6 and 2. Our second set of solution, x is equal to negative 1 and y is equal to 1, corresponds to this second point of intersection with the coordinate negative 1 and 1. Thanks everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys found that useful. For more videos on this topic or other topics, please have a look at our channel. We do release videos weekly. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. We would love to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.